John Pollock here alongside John Ramdeen and Robin Black. And Ronda Rousey has been making, uh, I guess, some whispers, a few posts here. Uh, she has been spotted by some uh, in the wake of this most recent loss to Amanda Nunez. And I guess everyone is looking at, at what is next for this individual. Does she have a future in this sport? And largely everyone is just le left to guess. I mean, she's yeah. going to make this decision and I would guess she probably hasn't made that decision yet. Well, I mean, hopefully she's surrounded herself with the right people. And, and have you seen any evidence of and, that and so no, far? No, we haven't seen, but we, we all anticipate growth from these, these athletes. And, and maybe this is the, the situation where before she probably thought she hit rock bottom. But again, we say that. Rhonda's dealt with this type of stuff throughout her life. I mean, she lost a parent. She knows what the, the, the worst of the worst is. She's suffered losses in her, her amateur judo career. She understands what it means to, you know, have a depressing feeling. So she dealt with it in the Holly Holm fight. Did she deal with it I don't in know. the Holly Holm fight? I, maybe she didn't. Maybe yeah. she didn't. But maybe this is the scenario where she finally dealt with it, where it's like, okay. The end of the world really didn't happen. You know, it didn't happen with the Holly Holm fight. It didn't happen here. If she accepts the fact that, you know, look at Anderson Silva. Where does Anderson Silva rank all-time greats? One of the top 10 probably all-time greats. Anderson Silva has a shitload of losses on his on his resume. Randy Couture, Chuck Liddell, all the greats. Who cares? Nobody cares that you have wins and losses. Come back stronger. And that's what I was hoping. I, I was hoping that Ronda Rousey would actually lose this fight and realize, you know what? Who cares if I win or lose, I get better and I just be a prize fighter and maybe I get the title back, but just keep yourself in the mix and be an entertainer. Yeah, it, it's, she's a fascinating individual. There's the fight, there's that fight, the way she fights, how she trains, where she's put her skills together. There's the woman, there is the star. I mean, my mom, I was just down visiting yeah. my parents. My mom was talking about Ronda Rousey. Oh, you know, that Ronda Rousey, and I didn't like that woman that beat her. She was rude. You know, like, that's bizarre. That is bizarre to me. And then people will often, you know, say, oh, they got to push Amanda Nunes. There is this thing. Y you don't have to believe it, but you do believe it on some level. Some of these people are massively compelling, and we as a culture become obsessed with them. And we have done that with Ronda Rousey. So what that leaves for her is the choice to do anything she wants in her life. And we will be bystanders. She can decide fighting is truly who I am, and this is what I'm about, and I'm going to pursue improvement and growth. And it is not as simple as learning to box or learning to kickbox or a different coach. It's about the entire recipe, the entire stew of her skills and her training and her mindset. It was appropriate to win a few years ago, but the level of, of growth and greatness of the female division has risen, so she is no longer capable of winning at that level with the stew that she has. She has to change it. But she can do that because my mom will pay to watch her fight, for crying out loud, which is weird, right? But they will. They will. So she has the choice to do that, or she has the choice to say, I don't want to do anything. I'm rich. She has the choice to say, I don't want to be in the public because the public is rude. She has the choice to do whatever the hell she wants. But how much, when we look at what's going on with the UFC right now, we're unsure about Conor McGregor, we're unsure now about Ronda Rousey because of that. The, the stars seem to be diminishing in the UFC. When you have somebody like Ronda Rousey, is it the UFC's, um, is it their responsibility to say, look, we need to keep Ronda Rousey on this roster. We have to sweeten the pot however we have to sweeten it to make sure that she gets back inside of the cage because the reality is, just like you pointed out, your mom, my wife, they were talking about Ronda Rousey. So as soon as she's back in the news, the UFC has a gold mine on their hands. But, it, but you know, it, when people are talking about Connor, I, I had messages yesterday that Khabib versus uh, versus Tony is only happening because the UFC is protecting Connor. Dude doesn't want to fight right now. He doesn't want to fight. You can't make him fight anybody. Fighting is something you choose to do, not so anyone makes you. Whoosh. You're gonna go fight Khabib. Rhonda, we need you in there. You, you gotta choose to fight. If she doesn't wanna fight, there's no sweetening of no pot. The chick is a millionaire. Right. She's very successful in many areas of her life. And she's gonna do what she wants. And that's what we should want for these, these fighters, to have the real choice to do what they want. Rhonda's good. We can speculate all we want, and we will. We'll speculate, like, that's what we do here. Uh, but uh, she's gonna do whatever she but wants. But the reality is, let's say Ronda Rousey was reported like $3 million. If the UFC really needed her, and she's like, you know what, I'm out. And they came with $10 million or $30 million, 
that can entice a lot of people to say, you know what, I'm going to reconsider, I'm going to do this. If you are motivated yeah. by money. Yeah. We're all motivated by money if we don't have things. I don't have a house, you know, I don't have, that would be cool, I'd love it. She has things, she has lots of things and lots of money. So now you have to assume she's motivated by more money and not everybody is. And, and a lot of people will say they're not motivated by money. Ronda Rousey showed, she executed actions leading up to that fight where she has points on the pay-per-view actively did not promote that thing yeah. like that was clear cut that she did she did not care what her That's takeaway was in this fight she had her guaranteed amount and it's like whatever that pay-per-view does and it ended up doing tremendous uh, regardless she knew that that i think part of the appeal, i don't know if that was a yeah. necessary the level that pay-per-view did i would not have estimated to, that to be yeah. honest though in a world of over promotion in a world where everybody's talking and everything if you walk down the street and, and really look for a second there's advertising everywhere you look and you pick up your phone and it's blaring it's everywhere you start being immune to it somebody doing the opposite is actually hugely noteworthy exactly didn't that work out because that's what we were all talking about the, all the lead up to the to the fight it UFC became a tour. story that was the story that ronda rousey refused to do any media so all the media was talking for ronda rousey which ended up helping ronda rousey she again she i'm sure she is surrounding herself with a, a people point the finger at, at edmund but ronda rousey has surrounded herself with a lot of intelligent people to get her where she is in the world that's of not, only not necessarily Marshall. true I, again i'm sure there's we, we look at Edmund as one guy, but you look at, at her mom and some of those other people that have helped her, ju uh, Judo Jean LaBelle, who sh she credits yep. that has helped her on this journey. This guy has seen everything in combat sports. He has an understanding of professional wrestling, and that's one of the approaches I think that Ronda Rousey took for this game. And Don't that's you why find she it interesting, Robin, especially that, I mean, of all the opinions that are out mm -hmm. there of fighters that will look at different situations yeah. and how they assess them. Ronda Rousey's reaction to the Holly Holm loss, going quiet for so long, 13 months away. I have yet to hear one fighter that stated, yeah, that was that was a normal reaction. That's kind of, you can expect that after a loss. It's, many I, people look at the fact- How many people have been the star of Ronda Rousey? Yeah. Burning that bright, yeah, your yeah. face everywhere. I'll tell you who, Conor McGregor sure. was in but March. He, and in he lost yeah. and he came back. Yeah. And yes, a loss is just a loss, but she took it so yeah. much more and I think that's unfortunate that I feel this woman is so obsessed with just like a do-over and erasing a loss rather than your own just growth it, and, and continuing to yeah, grow as a it, fighter. It's true. And there is an analogy that I've heard before and it really makes sense. You've, I've seen fighters lose and immediately be called, I need another fight, get me another fight right away. And then even taking a tougher opponent, I've seen it on the low and the high levels. And it's like a guy, you know, putting a, a thousand on black and then it, it burns. And so he takes 2000 and he puts it on again. And that's just too random. That, that isn't anything, that's just doubling down and you can't just double down. You have to change, you have to become a new fighter. She may have done that because there, it isn't just she, he, she was responding to the loss. There is the element of fame, as you, as you mentioned, but the element of spotlight and pressure and very few people outside of Justin Bieber have ever experienced the amount of global hate. Mm -hmm. You have to yeah. be empathetic enough to think of, you know, we have something called imposter syndrome where we can't think as if Rhonda is a human. She's just like you. She's a regular person. And if you woke up tomorrow and everybody hated you and everybody poured it on you, even though they didn't know you and they projected that you were a terrible person, they projected that you were evil and you felt bombarded by it, that is different. That's outside of just being kicked in the head and losing. Mm -hmm. It's another thing that, that even when we try and really, really focus our empathy to try to do it, we cannot imagine it. She, it's different and we'll never imagine, we'll never experience it. Well, we will remain guessing as to what Ronda Rousey is going Come to back. do next coming off this loss to Amanda Nunez at UFC 207.